Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. If you're either tuning in for the first time or tuning back in after a while of being away, then I just would like to extend a very warm welcome to you and just let you know, first and foremost, our purpose is to simply pray for you and to share God's truth with you right out of this living and active Word of God. Um, then lastly, is to create this into a community where you are known, loved, and valued. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, today we're going to be talking about, um, we got a good topic we're going to be talking about, establish. How many of you know, understand what that word means, establish? Like, you get something established, planned out. The final result, establish. Like, this is what we're doing. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be in Proverbs 16, verse 9. So if you have your Bibles, I encourage you to flip along to, with us to that passage. Or turn on your Bibles and please flip there as well. And as you flip flipping to that passage, um, I'll open this up in a brief word of prayer. Then we'll jump into this topic. Let's pray. Father God, would you speak to us right now by this topic, Lord? Would you soften our hearts to you? Soften our hearts to you, Lord? God, would we be able to learn something new about this topic? And would we be changed because of it? So God, would you speak to us now? Amen. Friends, Proverbs 16, verse 9. It says this. It says, in their hearts, human, humans plan the course. But here's the word about the disciples. But what? But the Lord establishes the steps. So what is it saying for us? It's saying, in their hearts, humans plan the course. There's nothing about established here, right? So it's saying what, what we do. But here's where established comes in. Here's the hope. Here's the wake-up call, basically, if you put it that way. But the Lord establishes the steps. Okay, so what, what's the biggest takeaway that I want you guys to take away today? The best, biggest takeaway is you can make all the plans you want in your heart. Like, say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and make all these checklists that you want to do, that you want to accomplish. But friends, ultimately, it's going to be the Lord that truly determines if these things happen or if they don't. His plan is better. He's the one who has, who created you, who formed you, and he will control what happens and what doesn't. He, in short, he's the one who establishes it. It says it. Humans plan the course. We just talked about that. We just got that down. But what? But the Lord establishes the steps. It's the Lord who's, who orchestrates everything together. Amen? So my encouragement is this. You can try make plans. I'm not saying don't make plans, but hold on, them, hold on to them loosely and realize, most importantly, that it's got ultimately going to be the Lord who, who directs things, or weaves things in, or moves things around, because he establishes the, your steps. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father God, I pray for these people watching this video, Lord. Um, if someone has not given their life to you, Lord, I pray they would respond right now by saying, Father God, I give my life to you, Lord. I believe you died on the cross. I believe you rose again. I believe you paid the price so I could be with you forever, Lord. So, Lord, I give my life to you right now. Thank God for the, um, the for people who, who have walked away from you, Lord. I pray that you would use whatever thing or whoever you want to, to draw them back to yourself, Lord. They would come back into the fold. And God, for the rest of us, we already made this decision, God. Okay? We have a desire to continue leaning into you, going into your presence, and submitting our plans to you. Because God, it's ultimately you who establishes our steps. Whether we want to hear it or not, it's you. So Lord, we pray this all in your name. Amen. Well, friends, if you just prayed one of these prayers today for the first time with us, as always, will you please let us know which prayer you prayed so we can rejoice with you. We would love to rejoice and celebrate whichever prayer you prayed. And friends, um, if you guys just need any personal prayers or if we can just come alongside you and serve you, serve you in any way that we can, please don't hesitate to reach out. We would love to serve you and love to just be here for you. Until next time, we hope you have a blessed day and keep Christ number one. Much love, friends.